Okay, oh, looks like we're live, all right. Hello. There you are, huh? such as it is. <clears throat> all right, um, this is like a part two, I guess, a phase two, a, more, a little more advanced kind of uh, explanation on the basics, introduction of the Schumann Resonance Harmonics Report. My name is Verdi Arbusto. And, um, uh, this is my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. A special huge shout out to, uh, Wages World. Um, you are the most amazing folks in the world. Like all of you. Um, it went from that 45 number to, oh, in an hour it hit 345, 348. And then, uh, like overnight I had 902, um, Wow, I'm I'm humbled. Um, thank you very much, and uh, I have as a special thank you. I did a little short video uh, uh, as a giveaway to the thousandth uh, subscriber, and um, thank you all very much. All right, so this is uh, it's the 28th of January. It's Tuesday. Um, I'm going to do also as a thank you uh, a longer video this time. Um, and hope that it can get uploaded in a reasonable amount of space. And I'm going to maybe fill in some gaps. I'm going to share the research, what I know. Um, and uh, this is going to clear up a lot of, I think, um, I don't know, whatever. All right. So <clears throat> uh, the first thing I want to say is down here at the bottom, you'll see screen capture is from the SOS system in Tomsk, which is at the Tomsk State University in the middle of Siberia. Um, that is where Mr. MBB gets his. Uh, he posts it online, and if you go to the website, he has the, spe it's just the spectrograph, but you can go, I will show you where the address is, you can go there and look up the dependencies, and I would recommend that's what these are uh, for everyone. And so I did a screen capture. I put this together in the program and got, and I had to stretch that out. You know, you see it's got a little bit, uh, uh, overall it's pretty nice, yeah. All right, so uh, y it's important to line everything up with the, um, with the date code in the bottom. All right, so um, uh, what we have here is frequency, and this is F1, F2, F3, F4. I have this absolutely upside down, even up to including the spectrograph, so you, as to draw the tension to things that you would not otherwise have seen from anyone else except one person uh, online. Um, all right, so I've gone over frequency. I have to keep going over it um, again and again. But you see here, when they're all laid out, uh, consecutively, this hump here, and you can tell what the numbers are. I'll go into it a little bit later. But uh, the frequency is basically the wavelength. And I put the analogy here is you have to think of the frequency here as the size of the ship or the vehicle. It's essentially the volume. So how big is the wave? So here on the top, it's 8.0, and on the bottom, it's 7.32. That's not a very big vehicle, the little pedals in there. So the way that they have the frequency is it's dependent on something. You can't have a frequency of nothing. So what's floating around, you have this interesting tick here in the amplitude. This down here is the amplitude. You have this tick here. But look at how the frequency is dropping. How does that happen? Why does that happen? This here is a dead space with the green mode. Look at that. It's going crazy, 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 crazy. How does the white, what is going on with this white here that it's getting any any action? What's causing this? I, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. But you see it. There's not much based on that. This is pretty flat. You can see that. But this little hump in uh, quality, you see, ding, and a little, not even really much, you're at 2 there and 35. So this is your scale here for the amplitude. Everyone focuses on these peaks here as the amplitude, but there's more to the picture. Mm 
there is more to the picture with these spikes than just, oh, it hit 35 there. You have to look at the scale that it's at, right? So going from 2 to 21, and then going from 1.9 to 9.3, and this one here, oh, is the big one. Uh, that's 1 down there at the bottom, but 15 up here. This is the big-ass Cadillac, the, the, I don't know, like the tuba. Or, you know, it's a, a bigger, thicker antenna and wires and everything to get this one. This is legitimately, see here it's at 31. See, this is banging out. Holy crap stick, right? And you look at the scale from 5 to 31. 30, see, it's capped off at 31. You see the flat top there, flat top there, and even there, dropped off, dropped up. Now it's scanned. It's scanning. This is not a continuous thing. There's a, a refresh rate of, I think, 100 hertz. So that means every 100 uh, cycles per second, it samples. So that's what part of these drop-offs are like that, is it's... It's, I don't know, I, I don't know how to explain it, but, but part of it is in the sampling rate of it, that it's like an approximation of it, but there, at this point here, those little guys there are different, and I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, uh, tighten in on this in a little, little bit so you can see the, the top of them, I think, but you have to look at the scale of, of, of the, 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 um, the quality, this is the magnetics of it, the magnetic flux, at 31. It usually caps out at, at 31. That's not the frequency. This guy here is the frequency. The frequency of that will, will cap, out, cap off at 31, but it's not capping off at 31. It's staying within 26.4. So this range here, it, look at that. It's not even at 24.5. It's at 24.9. Like, uh, and it's not even, I mean, it's, look at, the, this is the, the heavyweights here. This is the, the big-ass Cadillac or an SUV or, or a semi-truck. You know, you have to think of it that way. And each of these gets successively lighter and smaller and like a, this little Fiat Sportster, you know, little, little uh, spider, Porsche spider jammy there. Oh, you have to kind of think, think of it that way. All right, so the, um, all right, so I think I went over the, uh, the volume. How's my recording doing? All right. All right. So the frequency is the volume. And this is not the frequency of the standing waves down here. The frequency of the standing waves down here are these. Oops. Sorry. Hit the stand. <laughs> Little, it's an action movie. <laughs> all right. Anyway. All right. So uh, there's a joke for today's joke. All right. So, all right. So my. <laughs> all right. My. Um, my uh, camera stand is a uh, action figure, um, mo a motion picture action figure. Okay, there we go. All right, so the frequency is down. I, I move it. I do it all, all so it's all at the same um, starting point here. So there's no confusion. When I look at it, I always know what I'm looking at. Otherwise, everyone's like, Ooh, I, don't know. I don't know. No one knows. You know, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with being the only one that knows what's going on, sort of. Um, Another joke. <clears throat> all right, so, um, all right, so you see the peaks, the spikes. You you got to correlate what's going on up here with you know how the heck I sometimes I look at it. I'm like I have no idea what's going on. I, what what am I looking at? I I think I do. Like all right, I kind of sort of do, but like I like how do you get that? How do you get this from that? That's always what I'm like. I ah. You know, the spikes, yeah, you got every, I like those because they're obvious, they're clear, you know, you know, uh, uh, except like, all right, that's not very clear there, but all right, the white, see the yellow and um, the white and the yellow, it's sort of tempered by the, um, the red in there, and then you have the green, there's no green, right, the green, there's green's missing there, green's dipped there, the ding, um, so the light, tiny spike there of red. Right. Uh, oh, it's spiky of yellow there. So you have, except that goes down, but that's still, uh, how do I put it? Frequency, a frequency drop does not necessarily mean that it dropped in, in frequency. It could mean it dropped in direction. I think that's important to recognize that that's beyond my thinking, but that's a, something you have to kind of consider. 
that the the drops in these here frequencies are not necessarily a drop in less of it, a dip, you know, because it's it's active. It's like spring, spring loaded. You have to kind of think of it that way, based on the this here, um, the very top of it, the 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 navy uh, blue. Um, that that's at rest. You can see the at rest, but it's very very little of it in the highest. This is 40. Between that's 40 and 36 hertz, right? So this is a resonant hertz of that. 30. The, the green is capped off at, you know, here we have 8. Then we have um, 16, 20, um, 28. All right, so the green would be capped off at here, right? That's our 30 point. 31, technically. So the next one up is 33. Our next resonance is at 33.3. .3, the Masonic stuff that we're, we are taking over. All right. Now you look at these oranges in here. See, these are mid-grade electrics um, floating around. This is the only way to put it, floating around, giving you tinnitus. This is the, called the ringing in your ears. It's all this, and, and you know, at ear level here, to ding to ding this is successively higher going up in the atmosphere as well it's important to note um so all this stuff is where you, this is where your feet are you know you got to keep grounded here in this very dark area here keep your feet feet grounded there and all of this is hitting you in the head hitting you in your spinal column your knees my knees uh your daughter's knees um all right so uh the quality is measured in uh pico teslas you got two induction coils that are like that, where are we? Configured like that, all right. Um, perpendicular to each other. Uh, the coils are finer for Q1 and Q2 than they are for Q3 or Q and Q4. Like quality is a magnetism. Quality four induction coils would be the biggest. And I'm going to show you pictures of the induction coils. Amplitude is measured vertically on a dipole antenna. Will therefore show the upright spikes we can see the synchronization and coupling across. All right, so you, you see how they're coupling. The mode, the, uh, the mode across the antenna is coupling. The ding is pike, but ding to ding. Except for this jammy jam right here. Look at him all happy with that bouncing, with that crazy ass uh, electrics just dinging it, dinging it, dinging it, and the bell going ba bong. Right? So these are ha the hammers coming in from lightning. Theoretically, that's lightning. But look at that. That's not lightning. Where the heck is that? That's not lightning. That's not lightning. This is, you're like, that's not lightning, you know? Uh, this is not lightning. That's not, it's not lightning. I'm, I, well, okay. I'm just, I mean, that's not a joke. Uh, I can't joke about that because uh, it's not lightning. That's not Schumann energies, Schumann theory, Schumann equations, all of that, whatever that, okay. So, um, all right, so the, the synchronization coupling for us three modes. Uh, oh, okay. Um, we can see the synchronization and coupling across the spectrum of the first three modes of measurement. These are like shortwave bands. Notice how the green mode is fully legitimately oh, uh, within, I think within the 30 um, hertz ULF boundary designation. Green are those waves, uh, fully magnetic which are closest to Earth and our lowest atmospheric region. Notice the coupling of F4 with Q4. These are not heartbeats. These are Earth's galvanomonic or skin reaction. These are lightning up the, oh, these are lighting up the Earth's global electric circuit. It's a continuous charge that's applied to the planet from beyond the standard lightning model of Schumann. All right. So I am at the 15-minute mark. I think that's a good point to stop. Um, so this is going to be a part one of a Wages World thank you um, that's kind of preempting the rest of the itinerary of what I had otherwise would have been planned. Um, kind of in honor of the thousandth uh, subscriber, which is, you're, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you. All right. So I'm just going to stop here and then the next one I'm going to pick up here and then kind of go off from that. All right. All right. So thank you very much. I appreciate all you being here. You all are wonderful. And I, 
I have a reason to get out of bed now. Thank you. And I will see you on the flip side. Thank you.